So check this tech fans, like them or hate them, Google is pretty much involved with everything that us people in the media are doing. I mean, just think about it. They invented their whole search engine, all the stuff that they've been doing, all the ads, uh, obviously YouTube where you guys are viewing me right now, Google has their hand everywhere. And now they've just come up with what they feel is the biggest news that's ever hit their company. Now these guys have a computer, that's right, a quantum computer even, that's called the D-Wave. And right now it has 512 qubits. Qubits, that's right. Kind of a weird thing, we'll touch on that a little bit more down the line. Now, their computer, the D-Wave, is getting an upgrade, baby. It's going up to a thousand qubits. That's right, a thousand qubits. And they say the machine is actually so powerful that they don't even really know what it's capable of. And the really cool thing about it is, is that not only does this thing double up on its power, it actually doesn't take much less power to run it. You know what I mean? You get much more strength, but not energy taken to bring this. So that is actually in itself is just really, really killer news. And these guys have been working with NASA, NASA, excuse me, they've been working with USRA. And at their Mountain View location, they have this giant D-Wave computer. Now this D-Wave computer is actually made in Canada. So it's a Canadian thing, eh? And they've promised that for the next seven years, they're gonna be continuously upgrading the system. So you can expect for the next seven years, that this stuff's just gonna keep turning over and over and we're gonna see more developments. But picture this, if quantum computing can become the real thing of the future, imagine how powerful computers can be if it doesn't take more energy to run them. Especially, think about it, you have a cell phone. And if you could actually get a quantum computer inside of a cell phone somehow or some way, and you could double up its power without having to double up the battery or how big it is, think about how amazing that really is. So the prospects are really huge. And like I said earlier, Google considers this to be the biggest thing in their history. The D-Wave is the thing to be surfing. So what is the qubit? Everybody's like, oh, the qubit, what is this thing? On a normal computer, a transistor holds a single bit of information, meaning that when you have the on or the off, like in a normal computer, that's totally gone with quantum computing. They actually use the on and the off together at the very same time, bringing a whole new level of computing to the market. And you guys have all seen the television program probably, you know, you might know my age here, but Quantum Leap, where they use quantum computing to send this guy all over the galaxy because computers are so powerful. The qubit with its ability to take both the zero and the one at the same time and turn that into actually four streams of information makes the quantum design. And the more qubits that you add, the more the system gets powerful. And these people have claimed from the Canadian company D-Wave that no matter how much more stuff they make this powerful, the energy requirement is not going to increase much at all. So I thoroughly think that overall, even though we're talking about this quantum computer and the cool things, the big thing I think is the energy draw because Portable stuff and all that and the energy draw, you know, that's a big thing you talk about. You get a cell phone, you're like, oh man, my cell phone battery, that's the big thing you talk about. If they can somehow take these quantum computers, narrow them down, make them smaller, reduce the power requirements, the whole entire elemental world of computers will be changed. Now, along with all the good news, there are some people out there like the scientists over at USC who say this isn't really quite quantum computing. But what they are saying, that it is showing quantum annealing, which is somewhat like that. So I don't know if, you know, the D-Wave machine is really the true like quantum computing that everybody's talking about, but it's definitely pushing things in that right direction. I mean, let's just think about it. Even if you're getting on the same page and working towards something, that means you're getting close. So are they really exaggerating calling it a quantum machine? Uh, maybe not, maybe so, but either way, it's still pushing technology in a new direction, which is good for us all, right? I want to see you guys' comments down below. By the way, I got the story over at the company called Wired, so if you guys want to check out the full story, you guys can see that down the link. Thank you guys for the idea. But I saw this and I just thought, wow, this is amazing stuff. So there you guys have it, man. The brand new upgraded D-Wave goes from 512 qubits to 1,000 qubits, bringing massive power to Google's D-Wave machine. And like I said, folks, they said that the scientists were kind of a little bit disappointed because I think they were really expecting it to like, you know, do magical things right out the door. But even what it is right now, its potential is pretty much unlimited. So let me hear what you guys got to say. I think quantum computing is really cool. What do you think?